Hello and Merry Christmas. Today is December 24th, 2020, Christmas Eve, and we're going to review another VR Christmas game, this time Fun Christmas Santa VR. <laughs> now with the name like that, it's got to be good, right? Fun Christmas Santa was released on the Steam Store December 23rd, 2020 by developer VR Exodus. It normally retails for 10 bucks. It's on a release sale, 10% off. It's available for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift. I tested this game on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable, and I got this game through Viport Infinity. And I'm very happy I got this game through Viport Infinity because, again, this is not a good VR game. You know, with a name like Fun Christmas Santa VR, you probably already guessed that. So let's get into the review. Why is Fun Christmas Santa not so fun? The developer describes this game as a casual action adventure game. It's really just a nice environment I guess. You know it has a nice art style but it's not the best visuals and it's just a collection of mini games. The problem is the mini games are just too basic and none of them are fun so it ends up just being boring throughout. You know it's just not fun at all. It should be called Boring Christmas Santa. That'd be a better name for this. And this game is running on the Unreal Engine on my RTX 3080, I was getting a steady 90 frames per second. I did not experience any major bugs or anything like that. However, the game did have an overall lack of polish. So everything just felt a little clunky. All the mini games, none of them felt smoothed or polished at all. And the gameplay is just basically too simple to be an enjoyable game overall, even for kids. So you start off by basically making toys, which just involves placing the parts where it says to. Um, then you can play snowball, and all you have to do is get the snowball and hit the target three times while they're throwing snowballs back at you. I don't believe you can actually lose that game. Then you can also go fishing. The fishing mechanic here is just terrible, and you'll see that on the video. Basically, it kind of acts like almost a gun where you're aiming the fishing pole at the fish, and it's just very slow, it's very clunky, the, the aiming mechanic just is terrible. This is one of the worst fishing games I have ever played in VR. It's just overall terrible. You can also build a snowman. Uh, again, the mechanic here is just too simple. There's not enough variety. So you basically just build the snowman the way it's described and then that's it. And the problem is I couldn't even fit some of the buttons where it shows where you can put the buttons on, um, they would just fall to the ground. But you really had no choice as far as variety in the snowman. You just built it the way it's predetermined. So it's just not fun at all. You know, give us more options to make this at least an enjoyable exercise where you basically build a snowman the way that you want. Here you have predetermined snowball sizes already there for you with predetermined decorations and you just put them where it says to and that's basically it. You also grow vegetables and you just basically throw the seeds in the predetermined areas then just water them with the hose and then you just feed those carrots to the reindeer. You just have to give them enough carrots or clean them just by wiping them down with a sponge. The whole mechanics are are just bad so it just never ends up being fun and you're just doing the predetermined actions again. It's just not very fun at all. It's too simple and the mechanics are just not polished enough to be something enjoyable in VR. You can also fix the ice cream machine but the problem is you can't even eat the ice cream that you make so it's kind of pointless and you also go on this roller coaster type ride which is actually one of the worst roller coasters I've ever ridden. Uh, the ride is too slow. Uh, it's painful to go through it. You'll see this at the very end of the video. I had to speed it up twice as fast just to make it somewhat bearable to watch. So look for that at the end of this video. I'll do extended. I show the full roller coaster ride at twice speed and it still looks very slow and it just wasn't very fun at all at any point. There's also a climbing mechanic in this game. I'm not sure why it exists. It's just not fun to climb in this game. It's a pretty poor climbing mechanic. Lastly, although I did say I did not experience any bugs, there was an issue in the game for me. I did all the tasks available. Then I saw Santa leave. I heard a little noise, but the sleigh stayed behind and nothing else happened. 
I didn't see any other tasks I could complete to make the sleigh go. I tried climbing in the sleigh, just wouldn't do anything. So I'm not sure what happened there. It might be a bug or maybe it's just unclear on the directions of what you're supposed to do next. You do have full locomotion and snap turning, but the snap turning is a bit slow. This game could have definitely used more settings available. The, there's only a few options available. One of them is just graphics, medium, low, or high, but that's pretty much it. Overall, this is just not a well-made game. I can't recommend it to anyone, even if you really like Christmas games, even if you have kids, stay away from this game. It's not very good. If I have to rate it, I would give it a 3.5 out of 10. It's just a bad VR game, badly made, and it just seems like a cash grab on the Christmas spirit some people are having. Looking for a Christmas game in VR, but this is not it. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you like my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Goodbye.